We've got uh, the mystery word match. We've got a whole bunch of those. I love these. So they're concentrating on an individual sound. So all, this is the th, mystery word match. I don't know what page it's on in the exercise book, but there will be a lot of them. So when, when students are coming into class and they're all arriving at different times, or if there's 15 minutes at the end of class, you can whip out one of these and it focuses on uh, some individual sound. This one, oh look at Smart Old Teresa looking in the index. So this is TH, mystery word match, words that start with th. Basic, doesn't matter which one you pick. But the answers are at the bottom. 219 in the red book. Good girl, thank you. So there's a whole bunch going on in this little page, and you can make that last as long as you want. So the day after Wednesday, named after a god of thunder. Well, day after Wednesday, they've already got it. They know the day after Wednesday. So name after the, the god of thunder is a little bit of culture, a little bit of extra information. There are two clues usually in the writing part. They're reading, which they're very good at. They get to read and seek out a sound and the answers are all here. For the babies, I read the answers first with them and the higher the level, I cover the answers and then the advanced students have way harder work. So the hardest you can make this exercise is an advanced version with the answers covered and they have to generate, they just have to know that that word starts with them somewhere. That, that makes it hard. Also for the babies, you can give it to them in pairs or in groups. Yeah, and to read the answers to them, and then uh, you can get them to read the question if they're confident readers, or if if you're short of time, you read the answer, the question, and then, and ask ask them the answers, and I ask them one at a time what the answer is. I love these things. They're really really versatile, and they're real. There's a little culture in there, an opportunity to read and focus on individual sounds. So those are the mystery word matches. Here's the dreaded cry wolf. Cry wolf comes up, the same diagnostic passage comes up at the end of every new thing that we learn. So here's cry wolf, and I didn't write the page down. Why did I write the page down? With, um, and they find the consonant sounds in that passage, but they're getting more and more familiar with that passage. And you can video it again if you want. And let's do transformation for uh, consonants is right here. It's on page 49 of, of English is Stupid, Students Are Not. It's page 49. This is what we've been kind of ramping up for. So their whole world looks like this. Writing looks like this and speaking looks like this. I don't know how to say, I want to. And God forbid, if you try to have a break without getting to them, because when they read, they read from the red side. And they read, I, I usually get them to read two lines each. So the first student reads, he walked and talked and talked and walked.